they say the the job that we are doing is for men but nowadays things is like equal they treat us equal we are the first lady to become a black mom to become a ranger the main aim is that we want to chase away the poachers that they must stay away from rhinos they must not kill the rhinos We go through the fence line, we check the footprints, if there are any then we call, then we can follow the footprints to wherever they went. Oh, the hardest part is that I have a fear about big five animals because I don't know what will happen if one day we meet each other. I don't know what I'm going to do. afraid of poachers because poachers came to our reserve armed with guns and if we come across poachers they can kill us. In South Africa there is a, a high number of unemployment. I think it's lack of education because many people they are not educated. That's why they kill those rhinos. They just think about, about today, not about the future. I'm trying, but it's not simple. It's difficult because my family is so big and then I'm the breadwinner at home. I don't have a father. So I'm trying to help my mother because she's not working. I want the better way than the way I was raised. I want my child to have a better future and a better life than mine. If you must, you must know what you want to, not to become a poacher. You know what, we are not in a war zone, but you have to understand that there is a place where you need to come and not come. There is boundaries. It's not a fight, it's something that we need to talk to them, and they need to understand why we don't allow them to poach. I think I'm making difference in this uh, reserve by protecting the wildlife animal, by making sure that I destroy this nest that people are setting up, by making sure that I report each and every information that I get about people who want to poach inside our reserve. I believe that by going unarmed, it makes me proud that I'm not here for a fight. I'm only here to do my job, to protect this area. To protect our animals is the best way for the incoming children, for our future, for our children's future.
when I die, I want people to remember me as like a hero or a savior, like a fighter, because I want to fight those pushers to stop pushing.